What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a test review of this Linux door lock installation kit. Right here's the device right here and it comes with a two and an eighth hole saw and a one inch hole saw and it also comes with a drill bit, the pilot drill bit that goes in the center. So the first step we're going to take is we're going to find the center right here, which is going to be around 36 inches from the floor in most applications. And we want that to be right in the center of that profile right there. So you see 36 from the floor. I'm going to put a little tiny mark there. And then I'm going to run some painter's tape around here so that we can square it around and the jig will set on there perfect. So now that I've got my painter's tape on the door to protect it, I'm going to mark 36 inches again. I'm going to use my framing square here. Draw a straight line. The first thing you want to determine when setting your jig up is your door thickness and how far back you want your doorknob to set. This jig right here will set at inch and three eighths door thickness and inch and three quarter door thickness. And it will also set at two and three eighths back or two and three quarter back, which is for exterior doors in most cases. So this piece right here pops out and flips around, sets back in here, and then you can read the readout right here on the thickness of your, uh, of your door. And now I'm ready to install the actual jig on the door. So you're going to line up, there's a mark here and a mark here that you're going to line up on your 36 inch mark. And then You're gonna tighten the jig up from the back and tighten it up snug so that you can drill your holes. So now that I've got the two and one eighth hole saw in here, I'll start on this side of the jig and gently start. Once I drill this through where the pilot hole sticks out the other side, I'm gonna go on the other side of the door and drill the rest through so that we don't blow the finish out on the actual door. Now let's start from this side of the door and we'll finish it up. Now that we've got the two and one eighth inch hole drilled, we're gonna get the one inch drill bit ready and we're gonna come in from the front side and go all the way back to the previous hole that we drilled. Okay, let's take the jig off now and then we'll fit the uh, lock set in here and we'll mark to uh, route out the strike plate. The actual doorknob we're gonna be installing here today is a pocket door and it does have the same mechanism here. And then the side pieces 
are a little bit different, but they go in just the same as a regular doorknob. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna have to mark this out right here and we'll move on to another little tool, just a special little part that I'm gonna add in here for you. So that actually concludes the use of the Linux uh, door hole installation kit. And I'll have to say that this is by far the best one I've ever used. The only complaint that I will have about this device is when you go back to drill the hole from this side, my bit did rub a little bit here. And you don't have to go that way, but you are risking blowing out the finish on this actual door right here instead of making it perfectly clean and not messing up your paint job. So it's definitely imperative that you wanna run through this way. And like I said, that did get in the way, but uh, with just a little filing or something, I could fix that. So I'm gonna give this a B plus to an A because it worked almost perfect, but that one little thing is the only thing that I'm gonna give it a little bit less rating for. So now let's move on to the next step of this doorknob installation. So here's the little bonus jig that I'm gonna show you all about today. And what you're gonna do is, you're actually gonna mark this out. I'm gonna drill two 332nd inch pilot holes, okay? Then I'm going to install this on here, and I'll use this like a router bit in my drill to route out the exterior sides of this mortise hole right here and finish it off with the chisel. So let's start out by marking it. Okay, I'm gonna use this mechanical pencil right here to get a good accuracy mark. And the only reason I'm marking the exterior of it is to make sure that I'm straight and that my jig is actually perfect. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna circle that hole right there and circle it there. That way when I pull this out of here, I can go in the direct center of this hole right here with my drill bit. All right, so that's gonna be the next step. Okay, so again, I'm drilling these pilot holes with a 3 30 seconds, 3 30 seconds drill bit. All right, now I'm gonna take this jig and I'm gonna insert these directly into the 3 30 seconds inch hole. It's gonna make a good tight fit. Now I'm gonna put this little bit right here in. It's like a little drill bit, router bit combo. I'm still gonna hold my thumb tight on here. Now, I'm just gonna take my knife right here, kinda pry right behind there to easily pry that out and not break it. So that makes a perfect perimeter and now I can take my chisel and just clean up the rest of that. All right, I got the majority of it off right there and this chisel is actually pretty sharp, so this is by all means not a uh, fine woodworking chisel. This is an inexpensive cobalt chisel, but it's decently sharp. And I'm using the chisel this way because it has the bevel right here and it keeps me from digging too deep. If I went this way, I could gouge it too easily. So, and let's see if this will fit in here. Look at that. Factory perfection. All right, so next I'm just gonna take my uh, 
Phillips head hand screwdriver, I recommend you use that. Don't use an impact driver and just hand tighten these screws in there. Just a little bit of elbow grease here. And I'll have these guys in. Now we can take our locking mechanism. We'll put this side in first. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put this side in. Perfect. Just gotta put these two screws in and we'll be done. Perfection. Done and installed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. That's all I have for you today. I uh, hope I was able to help y'all out on installing this pocket door knob. And stay tuned for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.